how to turn a drawing into a vector file and remove the background using Xtool Studio software. Today I'm going to show you on the updated Xtool Studio software how easy it is to convert a JPEG file into a vector or SVG file, which is needed for laser engraving. Then I will show you how to remove the background so it will be easier for viewing and placement. I'm going to be demonstrating this with a flying saucer drawing to make a permanent bracelet to celebrate my daughter getting onto her school's ultimate frisbee team. Keep your eyes peeled for that video. I've started a new project and then I'm going to upload. Here's my little saucer. And what's going to happen is this will pop up and I'll ask you to scale down or keep the size. I'm going to show you the difference. This is the original size and I prefer this. It's not a big deal when it is a simple line drawing, but maybe in the future you'll have gray scales, small details. And if it was to scale down on, on its own, and I'll show you actually, I'm just going to import it again with the other option, scale down. So it'll scale down to this. The thing is it might change little details that you don't want to change. So I'm going to delete, I'm going to do just delete that. So it is much better to just keep your original because you can easily click on it and either change this setting or what you can do is press down in this corner and just hold on to it and drag. So you can do that very easily like this. Okay. So now I have this and all it is, is you click on right mouse click, a menu will pop up and you go down here and it's just a press of a button. It turns into an SVG file. I've got it set to downloads and I'm going to say flying saucer drawing. Okay. Save it. Good. So this is still your JPEG and what I'm going to do is my SVG file is here. Looks like that. And just in case I'm going to, I, I like to save, have everything there and then delete the one I don't want. Okay. So now this is an F SVG file. So you can see that it's got a long blue line. And now thing is, you also want to remove this background because if you're putting it over, I want to be able to see how far it is over the margin of what I'm going to engrave on. So we want, it's always good to remove that. And it's really easy. Instead of using illustrator to remove background, you can do it easily. So when you have it, just go on over, click on the object, and then this menu bar comes up and you have edit, click on it. And the menu is different from the, the creative space, the X tool and what you see online. So I'm going to click on that, go back and here trace. And that's all it is. I'm going to pause for a moment here to say that this is a point when you can have these controls to reduce fuzziness, denoising, making it smoother. In this case, it's just a simple line drawing. But if you had a lot of things going on in the background, different um, variations and some things that are a little bit fuzzier, not as crisp, this is when you can actually make the adjustments so that you get what it is that you're looking for. It's traced it. I'm going to save it and you'll see it goes right on top. And you see, you can see what's below and then I'm going to delete that. And that's all that it is. And that is all it is. So when you actually engrave and see it, it it has the vector outlines 
And then when you put engrave, it is solid. And I'll, I'm going to now save this so that we can put an engrave on our connector. I'll show you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that. Stones and Findings is a wholesaler of a huge selection of sterling silver and gold filled engraving blanks and jewelry findings. I'm going to leave more information about our company in the descriptions below.